Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another update on the Bitcoin price. We have some very interesting price action going on right now. But before we start with the content, my friends, just a little update on this Primex BT co-vesting feature, which currently is still running on very nice profits. And if you want to follow the number one trader, which currently has already reached the maximum of followers, I have heard that maybe he's going to open up a new strategy. So you are able to follow also this number one trader in a second traders account here. So as soon as this is going public and he's able to open up another account where you can follow because currently he's sitting in over 8,000 profits in gains. And since I was following him, you can see that I also have already 300% in gains next to my own trading. So that is definitely a very nice feature that is unique on Prime XPT. And if you want to join it and also be ready once he's going to open up another trading account that you can follow, then make sure that you right now sign up to Prime XPT. You find my referral link down below here in the video description and also follow my Discord trading chat because once I know that he's going to open up a new account, I will also share here the name and the way how to join this trader. And of course, if you also want to trade at your own, you can do this at the best at Bybit and Femex. If you use my referral links down below here where you can trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage, then make sure to use my referral link so you will get some bonus if you fulfill the requirements like you have to put a deposit and then you can get on Bybit up to $90 and on Femex up to $80 bonus so now my friends let's start here with the content because here in the one hour time frame you can see that bitcoin had kind of a breakout here we just came a little bit out here to the upside from this pattern that we were watching the whole day yesterday and you can see that we had a little breakout but nothing really convincing me that it's good to open up a long position right now we also came down here tested the new support and right now it looks like we we're gearing up here for a possible move here towards this high that we had here at around 16,000 and there we're gonna have to see if we are able to break out to the upside or not so currently I don't think we are in a safe place to open up a long position we maybe have to wait till we're gonna reach the $16,000 and also break it in order to open up a market long position in case that you're already in a long then make sure that you put the stop loss right below the main support which currently is at around $15,300 the thing that makes me believe that we could see a potential pump here is if you go over into the ethereum chart because here you can see that ethereum had a breakout before bitcoin then consolidated and now it continues to pump here and I think as soon as Ethereum is breaking here the $470 resistance, we could potentially see a big pump here on Ethereum and most likely Bitcoin will also follow. So I'm currently watching these two assets to see if one of these two are going to break out before the other one. So I think maybe Ethereum could be also be a leading indicator with this next move here. And if we go over into the four hour time frame, you can see that currently after getting a buy signal here, we are pumping again and we are having all the moving averages, especially at the 20 moving average as a support. So in theory, we should see a big bounce to the upside, which potentially will take us towards 16k and maybe even break it to the upside because we have the RSI right here bouncing from the 50 level which is very bullish and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that we are currently also trading here in the upper area and even though the MACD and KSD are still shifted to the downside I'm expecting here a bullish cross pretty soon if we can maintain here this $15,500 support you also see that the stochastic now is turning into bull mode so everything here in the 4 hour is looking again more bullish than bearish right now and if we have a look into the DXY so into the US dollar index you can see that here we also are pumping so this is a bit weird to see right now because the DXY here is also again breaking out from this main resistance of $93 and if we're gonna see follow through and also break here the 200 moving average in the 4 hour I think we're gonna see a big pump in the DXY and the opposite in the Bitcoin price so we are in a very dangerous trading zone right now because if the DXY is able to push higher here this could be dangerous for the Bitcoin price but if here we're gonna drop again below the 20 moving average which currently is also 
support here, then I'm expecting Bitcoin to make a big move to the upside. So I think everything is going to depend what the DXY is doing right now and where we're going to close the next couple of four hour candles. So I think we're going to squeeze out here between the 20 and 50 moving average before we're seeing another big move here in the DX. Y and also the XY now bounced from the 50 level and is shifted to the upside. So we have very similar condition right now here on the DXY and Bitcoin. And that's why this makes me a bit concerned here for a possible breakout here from 16,000 and go higher, especially if the DXY is starting to pump as well. I'm also watching here at my own indicator as soon as it's getting exhausted here and getting a sell signal then I think we have to look a very close eye here on the DXY what it's doing as well because if the DXY is continuously to pump here then this could be very dangerous for the Bitcoin price at least we could see a drop towards 15 or 14 thousand dollar incoming. But so far based here on the Bitcoin chart everything is looking like that we're gearing up for a next move to the upside and now we can have a look into the daily time frame because here you can see that again we are having the nine day moving average as a support so far we didn't close a daily candle below this moving average which of course is very important as soon as we're going to close below the nine day then i'm targeting here the 20 daily moving average which is lining up at fourteen thousand two hundred dollar here we should have enough uh, bull power to keep up with the price because I don't think that we will go much lower than that at least at the beginning but as soon as we're gonna start to close daily candles below the nine day or maybe even worse below the 20 daily moving average this could lead into a massive correction even down towards here the $11,500 area but as long as we are having these two moving averages as a support expect the price to go higher and higher the problem is only that we still are very exhausted here in the RSI and also in my own indicator you can see that current we are still very overbought and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that although we are still trading here in the upper area we still have a lot of room left to the upside we could easily reach here the $16,000 in the next couple of hours or days we have even the here the stochastic and oversold condition so here as soon as we're gonna have a bullish cross expect the price to pump even further up and now we can go over quickly into the DXY because here you can see that we still have the 20 and 50 daily moving average acting as a resistance so as long as we're not closing daily candles above this $93 area where these moving averages are lining up then I think the DXY is still shifted to the downside but be aware that as soon as we're gonna have a close above this moving average I think there we maybe could see a short-lived pump here in the DXY and of course a short-lived dump in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market but right now everything is still pointing out that Bitcoin will see continuation to the upside and at the end we can have a look here once more into the weekly time frame because Bitcoin in the weekly is still looking very bullish especially if we zoom out but here you can see the moving averages here especially here the 20 weekly moving average which is lining up perfectly at our support here of around $11,500 so the worst case scenario in my opinion is still that we could here see a big crash towards the 20 weekly and here start to consolidate have a bottom and then gear up for the next big move to the upside because also here in the weekly time frame you can see that the RSI is very overbought also in my own indicator we are coming right at the top here and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that we are still overshooting it to the upside that is of course what we want to see during an uptrend but at any time there could be a correction down to these two moving averages here between $12,500 and $11,500 so keep those price levels in mind if you want to accumulate even more Bitcoin and also look for perfect long entry because these two price levels in my opinion will be a very strong support level and here I think is where we might see the price retrace if we're gonna have a major sell-off so if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps then of course Bybit and Femix is the place for you where you can trade with leveraged bitcoins and also with tether you can trade here so you can do even more gains otherwise my suggestion to you my friend is to just try to accumulate as much bitcoin as you can right now because we are about to go really parabolic and you should consider to buy every dip that is gonna follow in these next couple of months and years because the next big parabolic run up here in the Bitcoin price is just about to start. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel here. I do daily TAs on Bitcoin and also down below here in the video description, you find all useful links to exchanges and other ways how to get some free cryptos and free money when you sign up with my links. Even if you want to 
mine some Bitcoin with your computer. You find the download code for the miner that I'm also using here. So the Kudo miner. So definitely go and check it out if you also want to mine some Bitcoin or Ethereum with your computer. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.